to format our timestamp here into something that we can actually see if a prettier version of our date, which is something we can actually understand. I'm going to use a date format class that comes from Java package. So I'm going to say date format and you can see there's a few here. So I want this one just says Java text like that. That's the one I just want to use. Okay, you can use whatever else you want, whatever that you found. I'm going to call this date format is equal to date format dot get instance. Okay, so I'm getting instance of our date format handle here. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a string because this is what we're going to be putting it all into before we add it into our database. So I'm going to say formatted date as such is equal to date format object we just created dot format I'm going to pass a date inside because that is what's required. I'm going to create a new date object. And in fact, is where I'm going to go ahead and pass the timestamp that we saved when we saved this item first time. Okay, so in this case here, I'm going to do the same thing cursor dot get long. Remember, I'm getting long because I'm going to be getting the cursor dot get column index, which is going to be constants dot date like that. Okay, remember the date we are passing in or the date that we saved, if we go back here, when we created our tables here, we said it's going to be Java Lang system current milis, which is going to have a type of long. So if you look inside here, you will see is indeed long. We have to say get long because the number, the timestamp that we're getting is going to be long because we saved it as a long type. And we are creating a date out of it. That's why we say new date, we're creating a new object of type date. So this object will be able to create a date out of it. But we're not done yet because right there before we finish our instantiation. So make sure we're still inside in the instantiation of our date, there is indeed a method if you go like this, put it enter, I can say dot get time like that. And voila. So now this formatted date here is going to be formatted into something perhaps like February or Feb 23rd, 2020, something like that. So that's what we're doing because this is the format string type that we need in order for us to actually show in our object, if that makes any sense. Right? Because remember, as we go through this, this is the get item, we are going to instantiate or create an item and serve that to a user interface. So this item Remember, it has a string in date item added. I did this on purpose because I knew that I would have to change the date internally because as I said, internally, it was saved as a data stamp or date stamp. But now what we're we doing inside here is we're taking it and put it in a string because that's what's needed because now at this point here, I can come here and say again, continue, say item dot set date and pass Look, it wants a string, which is going to be formatted string. Okay, so that simplifies our life in so many ways, because now when we say item that get date item added, we don't have to come back and do all of this. So all of this is done automatically, because at this point here, we're saving the date in this format, just as just a string. And then we just can retrieve it and show it to the user. So at this point here, we have our item we just return it like that. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to say public and I'm going to also make a list, okay, of items. In this case, item objects get all items. And we don't need to pass anything. And I'm going to SQL like database db this dot get readables because you want to be able to read list item. I'm going to create an object list here. So I'm going to say items list is equal to new array list. And now that we have that we can come down here and do the actual work. So what are we trying to do here? Well, first of all, I'm going to create a cursor again. I'm going to pass our constant dot table name. Okay, new string here because we're going to have to pass a few things inside of it for this to work. First of all, let's make constants dot key ID. Okay, then constants dot. In fact, it's going to be the same thing what we had here. So instead of doing all that work again, I'm going to just copy all of this. 
and just paste it all in here. In fact, we don't need where ID, so it's just going to be all. We don't need any of these. We don't need either of those. So all we need to do now is pass null, 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 and of course, null like that. But next thing I'm going to actually want to see here, look at this selection. So we're passing all of the arguments we want. So we don't want the selection arguments. We don't want to group by. So meaning to group the items that we're getting from the database by certain criteria. And we also don't want to add anything into having. But we want the last one, which is order by. What does order by mean? So well, order by allows us to order things either by ascending or descending. Okay. So in this case here, I want all of the items to be ordered by the constants that key date name like that. And I'm going to add here a string that says desc like that for descending, which means it's going to be from the last item that was added. So if you add something right now and wait a second and add second thing. So the last thing that we added is going to be at the top. Okay, there we go. Very good. So now we're going to go ahead and close this, which we have at the top there. So let's just add it there and put semicolon. Very good. I'm going to do the same thing. If cursor dot move to first, I'm going to say do while here. I'm going to say cursor dot move next like that. Okay, so while this is true, of course, this is going to work at least once. It's going to go through one time at least. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create our item object, call this item. Okay, and I'm going to be adding things to our item. So I'm going to say item dot set ID. In fact, I think we already have all of that. So most of this is going to be just repetition anyway. I'm going to copy all of that and put it all here. There we go. So we're getting all of the things from our columns, from our table. We can also copy this because this is where we are making sure that our date is correct, like that. And I'm going to go ahead and say item that set date. I'm going to pass formatted date like that. And then I'm going to add to array list. So I'm going to say item list dot add. I'm going to add our item, which will have all of the things to it. Of course, at the end, we must return our item list. Very good, because that's the contract, right? This allows us to return a list containing item objects. So we are done with our get all items. So what I want you to do next is try to add the update item. Let's say to do add update item to do add delete item and while we're here to do how about the get item count okay try to get these three to work all right i'll see you next